Have you ever been sitting at home at night, just perusing the internet, having a great time, when all of a sudden you come across something that can only be described as a genuine fever dream? Well, that's what happened to me last night when I came across the website LiveLikeAViking.com. Now, this website intrigued me, you see, because for years I had been doing the Live Like a Normal Human in the 21st Century Challenge, but now there was something different, dare I say, worse. Okay, let's not be too unfair. What actually is the website? I mean, apart from having stunning web design and inspiring slogans, what does it actually do? Well, uh, I thought it was like a challenge or a diet or something. Turns out it's HRT, hormone replacement therapy. What? Okay, so it seems to be a group of men in their 50s who are using HRT to help them be a Viking. Or possibly even to like make them be young again. Which by the way, if you want to feel young again, watch Toy Story 3. You will cry like a baby. You do not need hormone pills. You can just watch a Pixar film. But that's not the point for these lads. Ah, that's pirates. They want to live like a Viking. I mean, can you really blame them? What an epic and vaguely short life those lads have. Perhaps even maybe I want a part of it. So obviously Obviously this whole thing intrigued me and it made me think, look, could I live like a Viking? And no, I'm not going to be doing HRT for a video on the internet. I am instead going to be living like a Viking for one month. No more, no less. Well, probably less if I get bored, but still, no more, no less. So I found this article called 10 Steps to Living Like a Viking in the 21st Century and this will be like my Bible. You see this man right here? He is the new god. Okay, let's take a look at the steps. Number one. Nurture close friendships. This is already a mile away from the live forever mindset of the last article. Okay. Number two, enjoy your feasts. And we're back. Viking physiques weren't built on mindless snacking. When they feasted, they went for it. Cut out the mindless snacking and you'll be ready to live like a Viking. You know what? I'm not going to pretend like I'm reading it. It's a green screen. I have this memorized. Number three, don't waste your life. Okay, I guess I won't then. This one is all about being fearless. However, I get scared if I hear a pin drop. Ah! So I'm not sure this one's for me. But step four, develop raw power. What could that possibly mean? I do know it's about developing strength, but there must be a develop raw power. What the fuck, Vikings? Okay, I won't read all of them because to be completely honest, I'm not even gonna do them all in this video. I'm not even doing all of those in this video. I'm doing a select few. There's some really random ones in there. You know, it's just a lot of fitness stuff and lots of rowing. Lifting awkward objects is one of them. Fine, you know, build a community. What do they want me to do? Start a tribe? Yes. Another one is eat from the land. Uh, that either means grass or chicken. I'm fucking hoping for chicken, but you know, I'll take a bit of grass in me any day. <laughs> and then of course, where would Vikings be without the last step being optimize your hormones, which I'm not fucking doing. And if you have in the back of your mind that this video is building up to me doing it, it's it's not. And I'm not even double bluffing right now. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Okay, so starting tomorrow, June 25th, I will be living like a Viking for one month. Let's do it! Okay, so it's day one. Um, I have been taking a slower method of introducing my 10 steps to Vikinghood, seeing as it's like 30 degrees outside and I don't want to get heat stroke from developing raw power. Food-wise, I've been doing pretty well. You know, I'm sure later in the month I should probably Google what like Vikings ate, but today I had a burger and it was pretty good. Also, no snacks. I've cut out snacking completely, mainly. I did have two breakfasts today, which could be, which one of them could be counted as a snack, but still I'm pretty sure that just counts as nurturing your feast. There's a lot of loopholes to be found in Viking land, however, I'm feeling pretty good today. Speaking of the land, I've not been eating from it. No worms in me today, bitch. I think in the next few days I will introduce the, you know, development of raw power and the ridiculous training exercises, however today, I feel pretty good. Okay, so we are about a week in to this epic challenge and uh, it's time to lift some awkward objects. Am I right? <laughs> Let's do it. I couldn't find a Viking helmet, so there's a lot to do. We're gonna be lifting. We're gonna be, we're gonna be, we're gonna be grifting. Um, we're gonna be thriving, we're gonna be surviving. So let's, let's do it. I feel like this is pretty awkward to lift. I feel like Bella maybe thinks I'm trying to put her in it. I'm kind of doing it. <laughs> yeah! One hand, one hand, one! Okay, so that went pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how that went. Could I have done that better? Probably. Do I care? No. Object number two. You might be wondering why is this yoga mat hard to lift? 
Oh look, it's the circle is, oh, I was about to say it's too big for my hand, it's not. So I'm lifting it. This one I can do with one hand, this one I could do with one finger. No, that, that one, no, that didn't count. Done two objects. And I can still lift this one. <sighs> that was too much for me. I maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not cut out to be a Viking. Maybe I should be wearing this for safety. Like, ow, ow, it really hurt. It really is. It's too small for my big head. Oh, yeah, baby. Now, this is awkward. This is what I'm talking about. This is a door. Uh, bonk, didn't even hurt me. I'm, I'm wearing a hard hat. Uh, uh, you were too confused by this, Bella. Uh, uh, Wait, what if I put this on here? Oh, okay. This is some fucking difficulty. Well, this is kind of awkward. <sighs> Vikings, this is how the vi- uh, Ow! Oh. <sighs> fucking hat. Hello. Um, it's time to enjoy my feasts. Um, now I wasn't quite sure what Viking feasts look like. And so I've gone for what I assume to be the closest possible option, which is KFC. Um, it's also coincidentally my least favourite fast food brand. So I'm I'm really excited. I've got I've got a lemon Fanta. Deal with it, and we're gonna have a lovely time. I got some vague chicken, some chips, and some hot wings. Because I am. Um, Okay, so let's enjoy my feast. Oh, oh, <laughs> they're on the table. Right, let's do the hot wings. This is gripping content. I'm not like the best with spicy things, so I think this should go pretty well. Looking at this though, I am stalling because I don't want to be taken over by spice. What are you doing, fella? I can't say I'm bulled over by this. Christ, okay, that doesn't look okay, actually. Um, I know that sounded like I was doing a- That is- Oh, okay. It's not too spicy, but, you know, when, when I'm in the middle of saying that there's no spice, then suddenly it hits you with with an alarming intensity. Okay, so I hate all this food. Can I want some chicken? Do you guys just ever think, like, why am I sat here? There's so many fun things I could be doing. So, this video is sponsored by- KFC. Okay, so we were about two weeks in at this point, and I, I was doing fine, you know. I lasted way longer at this, and I did way better at this than I did with that stupid fucking tree video. However, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I was missing my snacks. And you know what? I think that shows in the enjoyment of my feasts. Okay, so we were about two weeks in at this point, and I will never do a video like this ever again. <laughs> um, well, maybe I will, but I just... It's fucking awful. I haven't been able to snack in weeks. Two weeks. So many weeks. Uh, and before you all get on me about it, this is a fucking Fanta. This is not a snack. This is a drink. I don't think much has, I don't think much has changed in terms of my health or anything like that. I mean, I don't think that's the point of this video. The point of this video is to, of course, become a Viking. But in terms of how I actually feel, I don't... Think, I don't think I feel any different. Anyway, this was completely incoherent. I've done about half the things so far, but I have been living as a Viking. And, uh... That's it. <laughs> okay, I bought this shirt two weeks ago, and it is too small for me. And so I think it's perfect for getting in the bath with. Anyway, essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be rowing and uh, demonstrated here is the ocean. Now we don't actually only rowing oars, we're not a particularly athletic family. And also it's a bath, so I'm feeling so it might be too big to get too fucking enjoying all those rowing oars in. So, I've got some wooden spoons. I feel like I feel like these will do us these will do us good. That's what they call alternative music. Okay, so while we're waiting for the ocean to fill up with water, I thought it was time for me to eat from the land. It's, okay, it's uh it's time to get rowing. 
Jesus. Okay. I'm in the ocean. I'm realizing this might be a pretty one-noted joke. Why the fuck did I do this? No, hey, believe me, this is like really fun. I'm having a lot of fun right now. Currently. Try rowing. I've made a huge mistake. Normal ducks are yellow. That sucks. If you looked at these ducks, you think they're all yellow, but there's actually some duck discrimination going on there. Like some ducks. I'm trying to get past the duck. Like, I'm Okay, do I think this is how people intended for me to row? Um, probably not. However, at the same time... Oh, it was so much fun! <laughs> it was so much fun, I've had so much fun with my new friends, my duck friend, my duck friend, my duckling friends! Duckling! Like and subscribe. Okay, so as of yesterday, the uh, the challenge is up. Uh, it is no more. I am no longer living that way, and I have taken exactly one day to calibrate my thoughts on this challenge. First of all, let's ask the important questions. Number one, am I a Viking? No, absolutely not. That'd be ridiculous. But number two, do I think there is a benefit to living like this, even for a month? Honestly, fuck no. Like, this was so pointless. I know every one of these videos I've done, I've only done two of these type of videos, and every one I go, this was pointless. This one was especially pointless because it was a month of my life. Look, this is a real person by person thing, and for me, fuck no, it did nothing. I mean, I have nowhere near the self-control or even will to live Ever. of someone who could do this challenge properly or even live like a Viking forever. Like, you wanna know something I didn't include? I broke the challenge, like, every other day. Like, that's why it's not week by week and day by day. Because I fucking broke, because I was hungry. And does that make me a failure? Perhaps. But is that okay? Of course. Of course it is. This is ridiculous. Look, if you're a dude in your 50s who wants to reverse time so you can be young again, I promise you living like a Viking is not the fucking elixir of life, no matter what that weird website tells you. Look, if you want to cut out snacking and lift more weights, do it. More power to you. You don't have to sit in a bathtub and pretend to row in order for that to happen. Well, there was one I didn't do. Well, there were several I didn't do, but there was one specific one. Develop raw power. I just didn't know what this could mean. I was pacing up and down through my floors thinking, how do I do it? Mama, Papa, how do I do it? And then, one fateful evening, I went out into a rose garden and had Bridget pelt carrots at me. Okay, we are out in the very public area of the rose gardens and we are, we're ready to um, develop raw power, which we are going to do by, Bridget is going to throw raw carrots at me and I'm wearing a Viking hat, which means I'm a fucking Viking, you know. Here we go. Ah, that's number one, number two. <laughs> oh, so I've, I've just had quite a few, few carrots thrown at me um, and I think that, <laughs> Proved that I do know how to get a brood. And also, I am a Viking now. So, um, thank you for watching and goodbye.